This is a quote from James Baldwin from a book called The Price of the Ticket. And the quote goes, You were born and faced the future that you faced because you were black and for no other reason. The limits of your ambition were, thus, expected to be set forever. You were not expected to aspire to excellence. You were expected to make peace with mediocrity. The details and symbols of your life have been deliberately constructed to make you believe what white people say about you. That's pretty good. And pretty, uh... Sort of what I feel people are experiencing on a daily basis, Most, and uh, more so like uh, young people experience. It feels like something that I think people take with them when they interact with white people. I've heard black people say that they have a, a different space that they're in when they're around white people. And the mask, if you will. Yeah. And a lot of it is revolved around, you know, being concerned with what you're thinking white people are thinking about you. Like, how smart do they think you are? Or how, you know, just the constant evaluation of where, of, of where you are and whether it's below or above their expectation of you yeah. and how they respond to that. So I have, um, I definitely feel that way, um, just the, the, the notion of you are not expected to aspire to excellence, or, or you're expected to make peace with mediocrity. Um, I definitely get into that, that, that uncomfortable space when I'm around white people who I know, or who I have come to believe based on where I am don't spend a lot of time around people of color. So therefore I know that that lack of expo that lack of regular exposure I always uh, assume from them that they are, you know, thinking the worst. Right. When you're in that position mm -hmm. as a black person and wondering what stereotypes are being placed on you, mm -hmm. you sort of assume the stereotype about white people too that until further notice that they're probably prejudiced or judgmental or coming from a weird space yeah. of lack, lack of exposure. That's a good point. And the I question always... is like, is, you know, how often is this stereotype true? Probably most of the time. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if anyone's ever keeping tabs of when they like think stereotypical things about a group of people. And then, you know, like keep track of the moments when they have been incorrect and the moments when they have been dead on. But I, in my growing up in the culture that I was around, it was pretty much the assumption that 100% of white Americans are racist until they prove otherwise. And not racist to the point where they would just on sight of seeing you hang you from a tree but basically, it was a, the, the assumption was that the people who stand to benefit most from it most likely embrace it and help perpetuate it so that they can, their benefits can continue. <laughs>